Hey, welcome back to Trekking California with Velox 18. We are out here in St. George, Utah. We got a load of cheese, man. The cheddar. We got to deliver this cheddar cheese over here to uh, the customer. Well, it's, it's actually just a warehousing for the customer, but you know, whatever. I don't know how all this stuff works, man. Logistics is a crazy world. You guys ever want to get tied into knots, try and understand like who's paying for the freight and why it goes through the channels it goes through. And uh, you, you realize this stuff's complicated, man. <laughs> Like I'm getting, I'm getting loads from a broker to a shipper that I work for directly, but it's it's not a load that's that that the shipper is is running there. There, it's being brokered because it's being brokered by the by the customer who's buying it, but it's not being received by the customer. It's being shipped to a different warehousing company who's going to warehouse it for them. It's it's weird, man. It's crazy. Anyway, all right. So that's what we're here doing here. We're here to uh, make this delivery. Uh, that's all that really matters to me is how many miles I'm going, where I'm picking up, where I'm delivering, and how much they're gonna pay me. That's it, I don't even care about all that other stuff because it's confusing. All right, um, so we're gonna go make this delivery and then hey, we're gonna get our, get our day started. We're gonna go make a pickup this evening in Henderson. So easy day, this is kind of a chill day. Uh, I gave myself some time to uh, make sure I could make that appointment over in Henderson because uh, if you've watched my channel before, I pick up in Henderson frequently at the Americold in Henderson and uh, they don't like it when you're late. <laughs> I've had I've had bad experiences there when I'm late. Uh, pretty pretty much good experiences when I'm on time, really bad experiences when I'm late. When when you become a work in, it uh it gets ugly. It gets ugly quick. So, um, I gave myself plenty of time, so it's just an easy day. We're going to do this, run over there, do that. Boom boom boom. Wham bam, thank you ma'am, and uh roll the music. I went and checked in over here at the uh, at the receiving office, and uh, guy opened the door. First words out of his mouth: "We're effed today." And I was like, "Oh, all right." And uh, I said, "I'm not really worried about it." I said, "I just uh, I would like you to double check this appointment time because last time they told me eight o'clock and it wasn't until eleven. So hopefully uh, this you know this uh, appointment, this 10 a.m. appointment, is really a 10 a.m. appointment." And uh, he went and looked, and he said, "Yeah, it's a 10 a.m. but." I'll be honest with you, man. I don't think we're gonna get to you until after lunch. I said, "That's cool. I got stuff to do. I got to, uh, got to edit a video and stuff." So I'm, I got stuff to uh, do. I said, "Hey, as long as you can get me out of here by the time you guys go home, then." Uh, he goes, "Well, no promises. I don't know how late we're gonna be here today." <laughs> I said, "All right." I said, "I don't have an appointment till uh, later tonight." So you guys, uh, you guys do your thing. Don't, because he was apologetic, you know. And I said, "Don't worry about me. I'm good." I got things I can do. Shoot, if it's too long, I'll call my buddy Dick. He can come pick me up, and we'll go grab something to eat. But uh, I think I'll. I think I have enough stuff to uh, keep myself busy today. Uh, trying to book loads out, trying to edit video, and trying to. Uh, I got some other, some some other things I got to take care of, man. Some other. Uh, I got I got plans in the works. So there's always there's always a bunch of stuff kind of like lingering around. Uh, to-do list stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, there's lots of little things you gotta do to make big things happen. So, anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're just hanging out here in the shade. Uh, I probably should dust off the truck and uh, wipe off some of the water water uh, marks from yesterday. You know, after you wash the truck, then you drive, then the water comes out of all the different uh, little crevices and all, this, all the uh, seals and everything. And so, if I dust it off and then I wipe those down right now, then it won't be as ugly, right? Got to got to dry the truck off, but it's hard to dry the truck off uh, and get all the water out of the seals and everything. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. I, I got I got some hours, I guess, to do it. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, it's 11:30. Still don't have a door, so we're uh, we got the video inside doing its thing, and we are trying to get all this stuff off the truck. Just washed it yesterday and uh, all the water comes out of those little, all the little crevices and creases. So that's all we're doing. Wiping it down. I got this stuff right here. Anti-static um, showroom shine. 
and uh, get this from a from a um, like a a detail a detail um, uh, warehouse where you know it's like a whatever you call it what do you call it a supplier for like auto detailers so it's good stuff I'm digging it so I'm just gonna finish up this side of the truck and then uh, I think. I ran out of my tire shine, so I'm gonna have to get some tire shine on these uh, another day. But it's uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm ready. I'm ready for summertime, man. I'm ready to put this thing in a couple more shows. Yeah, let's do it. All right. It is like one o'clock, and we, the collective we, meaning. You guys and myself are going to be backing into a, uh, a dock right now. Does that sound like fun? Sure sounds like fun to me. Um, I'm kind of going to blindside this thing a little bit because there's no, there's no trailers in there right now. kind of figure why not it's a lot easier when there's no trailers next to me on this uh, little little turn around get down turn around touch the ground boot scoop uh, sometimes I don't even know the songs I sing man I, I don't know that song I've heard it but I don't know it I don't even know if I, I probably messed up the words on it that's uh, that's what we do. So we gotta pop this seal. I gotta slide my tandems and uh, open up the doors, remove my load locks, all the good stuff. So you guys, you guys sit tight. But I'm gonna take care of all this other stuff. All right. All right. We got out of there. It's 2:15. Uh, so 10 o'clock appointment, got out of there at 2.15, uh, not, not typical of that receiver, but uh, you know, that's just the way it is today. In fact, it, I left, there's even more guys that are starting to get kind of upset over there. They, they were told by their broker they had an 8 a.m. appointment. Turns out they had, uh, two guys had 11 a.m. appointment, so they had to wait until I got done. And then there was uh, another guy who showed up at 8 o'clock in the morning, or maybe even earlier, 7 a.m. in the morning. And, uh, and his appointment wasn't until 1 p.m. And, you know, and then 1, 1 o'clock came and went, and he hadn't even gotten in the door yet. And so, uh, kind of a bummer. He was, uh, he was, uh, he was, th there's a lot of guys there that are frustrated. That's, that's how I'll leave that. There's a lot of guys that were, uh, we're all out there talking and, and, uh, you know, I, Try not to try not to say too much because I'm the I'm the first one getting out of there, you know. So I just kind of let them vent and uh, you know just tried to defend the guys in there a little bit. Like yeah, they only, they only got a couple guys and you know uh, there's not a lot of room in there, so they got to load the outgoing trucks. Uh, they can't just you know put all three inbound trucks at the same time because they'll run out of room. So they got to balance it with lo loads going out with you know the, the trucks that are coming in. So. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to get on down the road. We're going to go through Virgin River Gorge right now. Uh, as soon as we cross over into Arizona, it'll go from being like, you know, 120 or whatever time it'll be at that time. Uh, I mean, from 220 back to 120, we're going back in time. So uh, that's kind of fun and exciting. So we got plenty of time to get our to our 6 p.m. appointment in Henderson. Um, and then after we do our 6 p.m. appointment in Henderson, we'll get on our way to San Bernardino. But uh, yeah, for now, I think I might stop and get myself a shower. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But we're gonna keep getting on down the road. Uh, I love, I love this stinking area of Southern Utah right here in Arizona. Uh, it's so beautiful, man. I know you guys. That it, it never turns out on camera as cool as it looks in real life, but like. Just all these little ridge lines and stuff are just, they're cool, man. They're cool. I like them. But, uh, this is 
one of those crisscross applesauce uh, turning turning lanes. All right. I'll catch up with you guys when we get on down the road. Sound good? Sound good? All right, let's go. All right, uh, we made it over here to the uh, Flying J. Flying J, see that? See that all the way back there in the background? So we're at the Flying J right here in Mesquite, Nevada. I'm gonna go in and take a shower. Uh, they're doing construction just, just on the other side of this uh, towards Vegas. Um, so we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to try to try to get through that to get over to our pickup, but uh, it's only uh, 2.30, 2.15, something like that. So I, uh, I'll leave here around 3.30 and uh, We'll have plenty of time to get over there and make our pickup at six o'clock. So that's the plan right now. I'm gonna go in and get cleaned up and uh, shoot. I'll chat with you guys after that. You guys can't go in there with me. That'd be inappropriate. Inappropriosity, as one of my kids would say. I forget which one said that. Inappropriosity. So yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be doing that. There he is. So. uh and right here at this Eagles Landing Flying J, Mesquite, Nevada. Um, showers were nice, man. Take a look. I got I, after all that talk, I ended up taking you guys into the shower with me anyway. But uh, yeah, I like I like that shower, man. It was nice and clean, hot water. I love truck stop water pressure. Water pressure at my house is always weak sauce. Water pressure at these truck stops. I should go to the truck stops by my house to uh, take showers because the trucks. It's always better at truck stops. But uh, anyway, let's get on the road. All right, so the map is saying that they're doing construction up here a little ways, that it's a 25 minute delay. I was kind of hoping that it would dissipate before we got up here. You know, like it's getting towards the end of the day. It's three o'clock after three. But uh, even with the delay, um, it is only uh, a two hour drive, so uh, that's what we're driving into is a 25 minute delay, but we'll still be getting there about an hour early for our um, for our appointment at AmeriCold. So we're still doing okay, doing okay. I was hoping that this would get picked up, but it's not. Um, but I did get a piece of good news while I was over there in Utah. I uh, started emailing with uh, a customer. They emailed me about um, picking up some loads. So looks like, uh, and it's not final yet, but it looks like I've booked uh, about $20,000 worth of work uh, for the end of February and beginning of March. So um, that's pretty cool, man. Kind of get me out of that uh, that slow season as long as I can find decent backhauls I'll be making you know good money and uh, we'll be we'll be uh, you know rocking and rolling again man um, so kind of cool kind of cool when you uh, you know I'm gonna call the broker that I get my backhauls from uh, that I've been getting the, the lighthouse foods backhauls from I'm gonna call him uh, there's another one that has similar loads out of st. George uh, and then there's always these ice cream loads and stuff out of out of Henderson if I need to use those. So, um, yeah, there's there's some options for me, uh, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't get set up to do um, to do uh, uh, you know some of those some of those um, backhauls. And if I can get it all squared away, we'll be we'll be sitting pretty. Um, and actually it's eight loads because they already called me for for one one other load so i believe it'll be eight loads i'll be taken care of and i just gotta i just gotta get the the schedule uh booked right and uh, everything else will fall into place everything else will just fall into place so um you know they asked me how quickly i could turn them around i told them to give me uh you know every third day so that way i can i can come out here 
um, you know, get loaded, come out here, deliver the, the next day. So the first day, I mean, if you, if you count the day that you get loaded as day zero, then this would be the first day. Then you get, then you get loaded and then you go back and you deliver on the second day. And then I would be picking up on the third day. So that's kind of the way that I'm going to set it up. Um, I should get, you know, a night at home each, each uh, trip. Uh, on that second night third before the third day and uh, so that's kind of my plan right now man uh, good news good news I mean I've been making do with with the spot market that's it, it's it's good but it's nice to have things pre-booked and to know you know that I've that I've got money coming in I've got money on the schedule uh, I much prefer that than um, you know seeing what happens in on any given week and hoping that the freight volume is high enough that I can get good rates and all that good stuff so uh, yeah so we're doing good man doing good so we're gonna sit through this traffic I'll catch up with you guys when we get to Americold and Henderson there's nothing much to see here it's just construction traffic so uh, not not nothing to uh, to keep you guys watching for <laughs> we uh, let's let's let's, uh, let's fast forward to America. Woo! All right, we're getting off right here at Horizon Drive in Henderson, Nevada. Henderson, baby. Coming down Horizon Drive, there's a uh, <laughs> exceptional child care for exceptional child care for happy kids it's called the giggle nest is it just me or is that a weird name for a preschool i don't know man the giggle nest that's weird all right we just crossed the railroad tracks so we're uh, coming up to a miracle in henderson on horizon drive every time i cross railroad tracks i have to like rethink about that i'm not doing hazmat tanker anymore because when you're in the hazmat tanker you got to stop at all railroad tracks and put on your your hazard lights so every time i hit a railroad track i'm like oh did I just run a, oh no, that's right. I don't have to do that anymore. But uh, all right, we're gonna get in here and uh, we'll get checked in and uh, we'll see uh, We'll see how long this takes. I'll probably order some dinner to get delivered over here while I wait. It's kind of what I usually do. So uh, I think that's the plan, Stan. I'll check in with you guys uh, a little bit later on. We got uh, assigned a door right away. So we're gonna pull over here, get ourselves in the door. I already got food on the way. I think we're going to have a good night, folks. I really do. I really do, though. But that's what um, that's what's cool about running kind of this little lane, Vegas to SoCal, and then I'm going to be going to Phoenix, too, is that just the short drives allow for just a, an, an ease of the schedule. Like, I can I can kind of relax a little bit. I don't, I don't have to worry about the, um, you know, whether or not I'm going to, I'm going to be able to make it to my appointment and where, you know, I guess I still have to worry about where I'm going to sleep, but it's not like the, uh, I don't know, it's not the same as worrying about where you're going to sleep when you have to drive through the night and then show up at the receiver, you know, in the middle of the night and park somewhere on the side of the road just so that you can get your hours to reset the next day. Like, I don't know, I just don't have that, that worry uh, this time. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be easy. All right, I ordered my food and I got myself another one of these uh, Philly cheesesteaks from a place called Straight from Philly. But this one, it just feels lighter. Like the last one was just packed with meat and cheese. It it felt like a like a brick when I picked it up. This one feels like like airy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So let's see. Let's see what we're what we're dealing with here. Let's see if it's similar. Uh nope. Is it some sort of a chicken bacon something or other? <laughs> oh man. You know the Uber guy looked a little confused. He was like, alright, uh, North Philly, right? And I was like, yeah, he's like, okay. So I think he already got I think he mixed up me and someone else's order. doesn't smell bad I might just eat it <laughs> I don't know what to do in these situations man I think I'm just gonna eat it and call uber and get a refund suckers all right um, 
you guys gotta see it though. It's it's like some sort of a chicken chicken bacon. I knew I could just tell by the weight. I'm like, this ain't the same thing I ordered last time. And it, I I actually didn't think it was a wrong order. I just thought they skipped me this time. You know, like they just didn't put as much stuff on there. But um, yeah, I got, I, it sucks because you gotta call Uber to figure this out, and Uber has a call center, and this is hot. But I'm gonna call. All right. Uh, hopefully we get loaded soon. We're in the dock. We're ready to go as soon as they come out and tell me that they're gonna load me. I open my doors up, I back in, and then they load me like that. So it happens quick here. You wait, you wait up till the moment, especially the night shift. You wait and wait and wait, and then boom, you get loaded and you're out. So we'll see how long this takes. All right, just an update. So they just, no questions asked, refund you the money. So I could eat this for free and just kind of be like, all right, that's a, that's a win. But it's just chicken, it's a chicken cheesesteak with bacon and no peppers, no onions, no like sauce, no nothing. So it's kind of plain. And I kind of just want a Philly cheesesteak. <laughs> so I, I reordered it. We're gonna see if Uber Eats can get it right this time. <laughs> yeah. It's not that good. It needs like, you know, substance. It's too plain. This is probably some poor kid's order or something, and it's just a plain sandwich. They're gonna show up at their house because they came straight here from there, which means they came here first, and then they're gonna go deliver someone else's. So they doubled up the order, and they're gonna hand that poor kid this big old fat Philly cheesesteak. Maybe it's maybe it's not a kid. Maybe it's an adult who just is picky, but it's pretty plain. Sounds like something my kids would eat. <laughs> All right. Let's see how long Uber Eats takes and how long they take and see if we can't not... Because I got to run down to the end of the driveway. So hopefully I don't miss these guys when I run down there to get my food. I don't know. We'll see. Catch up with you guys in a little bit. Now this. This is what I'm talking about. El Gordo Velox. See, I needed some of that, some of that cheese and, and peppers action on this other one. I was going to take that other one and dip it on some of this, but it's actually just, it, everything's too messy. I can't, I can't, I'm really glad they cut these in half though. Otherwise it would be uneatable. Um, but you guys can't watch this. It's, it's going to be bad. All right. I will catch up with you guys when we get loaded. Cause I got myself a real Philly cheesesteak this time with Wiz. I got provolone and Wiz both North Philly and South Philly together. All right, I've been in the dock for three hours and uh, they still haven't come out to uh, have me back into the actual dock, into the door so they can load me. So uh, I don't know what exactly is taking them so long, but <laughs> kind of sucks. Uh, it, I, I went from, oh, I'm not worried about the timing on this, you know, shorter drives, blah, 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 blah. And now I'm like, man, I got a 6.30 a.m. appointment with this load. And it's like, you know, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's, it's almost nine o'clock <laughs> and they haven't even started loading me so if i get out of here at 10 they come out here right now and i get out of here by 10 then uh then it's like a four hour drive i think to get down the hill four and a half something like that to get over there and down into san bernardino and then i'm like okay i can't do a sleeper for a split because you need to get at least seven hours in the you know in the sleeper so if i go let's say three hours leave myself an hour in the morning or an hour and a half in the morning uh if i leave at 10 i shut it down at 1 a.m seven hours is 8 a.m so there's not a lot of options for me right now i don't know i went from not being worried at all to now i'm getting a little worried now i'm like where am i gonna sleep How, how's this gonna work i don't even know um but uh hey it's trucking right it's trucking so we'll uh we'll We'll get this. Uh, we'll get this thing loaded up at some point. But I'll, I'll check in with you guys in a little. Bit. All right, we got out of there. We got uh, thirty thousand pounds of ice cream, negative fifteen degrees, going to San Bernardino. We got a six thirty a.m. appointment. It is nine forty-five. We got out of there uh, just like ten minutes ago, so a little after nine thirty. So about four hours after we checked in. Checked in a little, like right at five thirty. So. Um, 
yeah, it, it took a little longer than I expected, so we're going to miss out on the ability to use a sleeper burst split. I was planning on maybe stopping, uh, stopping short of San Bernardino and taking seven hours off and then, and then finishing my drive, but the way it is now, it's a four-hour drive, and, uh, you know, with it being, uh, we're about, uh, what, eight and a half hours from the delivery delivery time, so there's no way, you know, we're, we're missing the, we're missing the timing a little bit, so I, I didn't plan this out as well as I, uh, hoped to, but, so what I'll do is I'll probably drop into San Bernardino and then show, um, uh, you know, arriving at the, uh, at the receiver and then just go find somewhere to sleep in San Bernardino and, you know, hope I don't get stabbed. Hope that my lug nut covers don't get stolen, you know, that, that kind of thing. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, we'll get on down the road. This is where we're going to cut the, the video off because uh, I'm just going to be driving into the night and, uh, you know, nothing, nothing special going on. So, uh, shoot, let's just... Let's just uh, get on down this road in fast motion and try and make quick work this night. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next load. Love you guys. Peace out. shoulder over here in San Bernardino. Pray that I don't die or step on a dirty needle <laughs> or get, get hepatitis. I don't want to get hepatitis. <laughs>